pushing up a big improvement that I made in Taiwan. And um, today we have about 6,000 uh, close months and 2,000 face shares that will be given out. And uh, later this month, or uh, this early next uh, month, we are expecting half a million surgical masks. Um, and uh, all these donations are made uh, Possible uh, generous donations from our members and friends. Together we have raised about uh, 80,000 uh, US dollars uh, for this effort. And I also want to share with you the Taiwan's success in fighting the pandemic. Uh, Taiwan is a country of about 38 million people in population. But as of yesterday, we only have 435 confirmed cases in seven days. And out of the 435 con confirmed uh, cases, only 55 of them are local uh, uh, infections. And for the past two months, there were no local infections. And Taiwan's success, I think, is partially because they, the, they use uh, the uh, and here in Bay Area, we have a shortage, that's kind of unfortunate. So we want to um, give back to the community that we all Bay Area can also reproduce the success in Taiwan. And, the half, and also I want to mention that the half a million uh, surgical masks that we will be getting later this month acquired through a joint effort with all the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce throughout the North America, including the United States and Canada. Together we have about 32 chambers, and together we have a target to give up 10 million uh, surgical masks to our community. And we hope that our effort can help in fighting the pandemic, and we pray for speedy cure May God bless all of us. Thank you. pandemic by donating uh, 6,000 cloth masks and uh, 2,000 protective um, uh, face, shield, uh, face, uh, face shield uh, to the Union City Police Department and, uh, the, city, the, and the city government. Uh, we all know that we all know that uh, the virus knows no borders and uh, since the outbreak, of the, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it has infected more than 7 million people worldwide and killed 400,000. Uh, and the, the, number, the, uh, the, the infected number in California has also exceeded 130,000. The number is uh, keeping increased. So uh, facing the ravage of this uh, ferocious uh, virus, uh, the, now it is uh, more important than ever for us to work hand in hand uh, to help each other. Only through uh, the solidarity and the mutual assistance can we defeat it. 
uh, just as uh, uh, President uh, Li uh, mentioned, uh, Taiwan has been uh, comparatively successful in combating uh, this pandemic so far. <coughs> and uh, within uh, the, the best of our uh, capabilities, we also want to uh, reach out and uh, share our resources and uh, uh, the, and the experiences and the experiences with our friends all, uh, in all over the world. Uh, and the, to, uh, and the today, the TCC SFDA's uh, donation is a very good example of uh, Taiwan's willingness and uh, uh, capability uh, to help. And uh, uh, and I uh, and I know the TCC uh, SF, SFDA will continue to work with uh, the, North uh, the North American Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce and uh, the Northern California Chamber, uh, Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce to get uh, more medical uh, masks uh, from Taiwan uh, to give them out to the, the, the local nursing homes and, uh, and the local people uh, under City and uh, California, the best of uh, the health and uh, uh, timely restoration of the economy. And each and every one, every one of you here, uh, stay healthy, uh, safe, and uh, happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks for successful countries to prevent the spread of the disease and what I also read that it is because it's headed by a woman. Come on, women, give a big hand for yourself. <laughs> yeah, the new president or the newly re-elected president is really tough and dealing with Are the country for doing uh, uh, 
right thing for the for Taiwan. So anyway, I want to thank you again, uh, John, for inviting us. And this is my first time to wear my high heels. <laughs> I've not gotten them for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Asian American Federation, uh, the 
time right now in law enforcement as uh, I'm sure you're all aware. Uh, in mid-March when this pandemic hit it was especially difficult for us because we had about a week uh, or so of mask supplies on hand. We were asking our officers to go out into the community, have contacts with people, uh, sometimes very close contacts, uh, sometimes even physical contact and it's something that we can't stop doing it's a job that we have to ask our officers to show up for every day no matter what the conditions are no matter what the risks are but we weren't able to give them uh, adequate protection for a long period of time our supplies of masks were really maybe a week or two and then we would have to ask people to please reuse masks and do things that you know weren't necessarily best practice but it was the best that we could do for our officers uh, in this day and age, with what we're going through right now, it's not only difficult to be in the police department, but it's also difficult to run a business, and to make a living. Those are the experiences that you guys are all going through. So I just want to say that that difficulty really underscores the generosity of this donation. There's a lot of things people could be doing with their time. There's a lot of things people could be doing to try to make money without thinking about other people who might be in need. So I just want to say again, thank you, uh, John, Jan, Joseph, thank you very much for your comments earlier. And uh, we just really appreciate this uh, very, very generous gift. Thank you. This COVID situation and the recent issues have brought up a lot of a lot of thinking and a lot of comments. And I think the net bottom result is we as a people in the United States are going to be more integrated, more understanding and end up in a better situation than when we started this whole thing. The road is rough now, but I think the road will be much better in the future. I'd also like to thank the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce for the Bay Area for all that they have done. John, I have known for longer than my wife has had gray hair. <laughs> and John has always been donating so much to the community. And lastly, I see Landway, and Landway has been donating over the last few years information and sign up.
Good morning, my name is John Arai. I'm uh, one of the vice presidents of the Southern Alameda County Buddhist Church in Union City. Uh, we have been, uh, uh, had the pleasure of hosting the Asian American Heritage Festival. I'm not sure how many years, maybe 10 or 12 years or so. Um, over. <laughs> well, I think it's been quite that long. But, um, uh, so I, I'd like to thank the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce of the San Francisco Bay Area and John Shea for this very generous donation. Uh, a lot of the members at my, at my church, and I'm sure most other churches, are, we figure like 80% of our members are over 65. Uh, so so e even though, you know, and then all of our activities have been halted for the last several months, and there's, uh, you know, at this point, there's really no no way of knowing exactly when anything's going to get back to even close to normal. Uh, but we've been doing a lot of online things and, uh, and, and things like that to be able to communicate with our members. Uh, but you know, this donation of the masks will be will be very helpful, and and we'll get these out to our members and to the community in general to, to be able to help them stay safe in the near future. So thank you again, John, for, for your very generous donation. Thank you. The uh, Asian American Federation of California, not just Asian, also outreach to the other. So next time, we have uh, the Blue Master and also the Board from the Chicago Hi, I'm Jerry Eustace. I'm with the Chico community. I met John Shea like we a hundred years ago. <laughs> And he still doesn't have gray hair. <laughs> I had hair and mm -hmm. teeth back then. Mm -hmm. He is an amazing person. Anyway, with John's support, we continue teaching Chico, demonstrating it to the schools from Castro Valley to uh, Milpitas, and travel around with 2,000 pounds of equipment the police department hasn't used it yet, but most everybody else has. Anyway, Taiko was Japanese drumming. We're part of the Newark School District, part of the adult school in Newark, but any of the other groups representing Union City, Hayward, any of those countries in between can call us and we pack up drums and people and go out and perform. It keeps everybody young. Our average performer is 68 years old. We have two performers in their 80s. But it doesn't mean we don't work with children. They start at age six. With John's help, again, a lot of our people can't afford to go out and buy a mask at $10 a piece. This will help our students continue. He's amazing. The Taiwan business community is amazing. And every couple of years, they use us for one of their performances. Again, through John's support. We thank them. There's no way we can give back to your community what your community has given to us through the years. So thank you, thank you. And I'm sorry I didn't use this. With this, I'm shy. <laughs> Be safe and stay well. This is a ceremony, not just I, you know, I'm just a concept person. I like to all come in and to the, uh, the all members, the four members uh, effort, we put this together. This time we also like to invite uh, another person from the Jay Singh Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah.
Uh, my name is Pam Fonda, and uh, I'm one of the board members of uh, JSA Inc. and JSA Home. Um, we're a small uh, senior care facility in Hayward, and uh, really want to thank uh, the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce, a um, wonderful organization, uh, and your generous donation to uh, helping us keep our staff members